In this part of the lesson, we'll look at how we can use a function to return a reference to an object rather than simply a value such as a number or a piece of text. Let's begin by opening the file that I've downloaded and extracted, and as always, click the Enable Content button if necessary to allow the code to run. This is an example we've seen in several previous parts of this course so far. We can add the details of a film that we've seen and provide a score out of 10 before clicking the Add to List button, and hopefully these values will then get copied into the appropriate worksheet according to the score that the, the movie has been given. Let's have a look at the code we've written so far to make this system work if we go to the Visual Basic Editor. Again, this code should be fairly familiar to us. We've seen this sort of thing in previous modules already. What we'd like to do for this example is extract the section first of all, which determines which sheet the movie should be pasted into. So we're going to create a function which simply returns a reference to either the rubbish, OK or great worksheet based on the value of the movie score. Let's start by creating a new function in this same module. If I scroll down to the bottom, we can add a new function called movie sheet. So function movie sheet. This function needs to know what score to test. So I'm going to start by declaring a parameter for the function called score as integer, and then close the parentheses. What I'd then like to do is get the function to return a reference to the correct worksheet. So the return type of the function, I'm going to state as worksheet. So just in the same way you can declare parameters and variables to hold classes or references to a class of object, we can make a function return a reference to a particular class of object. Now we already have a section of code in the main subroutine which performs the correct sequence of logical tests and sets the value of a variable in that subroutine to the correct worksheet. So let's cheat a little bit and simply cut and paste that entire if statement from the main routine into our movie sheet function. We have a couple of simple things we need to change then. First of all, where we were previously referring to the movie score variable, we now need to refer to just the score parameter. So we can make that change fairly simply by removing the word movie from in front of the word movie score. There we go. The second thing we need to do is make sure that our function is returning a reference to itself, not setting the value or setting the reference of the destination sheet variable. So again, I'm going to just copy my function name, movie sheet, and replace any reference to the destination sheet variable. So I can do that three times. The other really important thing, just as when you're setting the reference in a variable, if your function returns a reference to a class of object, you must use the set keyword to make that work. Now we simply need to place a call to our movie sheet function in the main routine and make sure that we, we return that reference to the destination sheet variable. So from where we cut our code earlier, let's set the destination sheet variable to reference the sheet returned by calling the movie sheet function. So I can call my movie sheet function. I will need to pass in the value to the score parameter. And the value that I want to pass in is currently held in the movie score variable. So that's what I'll say, movie score. And then if I close the parentheses, that function will return a reference to the correct worksheet. We should test that this function does its job correctly now by heading back to Excel. And then let's try clicking the Add to List button with a film that has a score of 10. If we click Add to List, we should find that those values have been pasted into the great sheet, and they indeed have. If we select Sheet 1 again, let's put in a film with a significantly lower rating. Let's go with a uh, let's go with Twilight. Why not? It's my go-to for bad films. And I'll give that a score of 0. And if I click Add to List this time, I should find that these details have been added into the rubbish sheet. They certainly have. And I suppose we should add in a mediocre, kind of OK film as well, just to check that. So let's add in, let's go for Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom, which is one that I watched not too long ago. And let's give that a score of about five. And then if I click Add to List, we should find that that one goes into the OK sheet. So that informs me that my function is returning a reference to the correct worksheet each time based on the score out of 10.